You ever had that random moment where something triggered flashbacks and all of a sudden you really into deep conversation with yourself? You begin to look around at the tangibles and reflect on the life you've created thus far. All those chaotic moments that at times seem like there was no means to an end are just memories of the past now. The good, the bad, the beautiful and the ugly. You see, those moments were the very things that gave you that focus, that drive, that motivation and that energy. Or lack of. Yeah, I said, or lack of. It's time for you to stop backpedaling every time you see the opposition. It's time for you to stop going ghost every time you see the critics tweet about you. It's time to put the gas mask on. Quit dodging the smoke. It's your life, this your show. Mama can't save you now. If motivation a problem, get a partner. If consistency a problem, keep tabs. If love a problem, talk to God. You were meant to be great. Don't run. Don't hide. Demand respect by giving it. Demand love by showing it. Demand joy by expressing it. And demand peace by living it. Go be great. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You gotta hear me. People talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett. Listen to me. I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it. Listen to me. That's it. You get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke. I don't care if you grew up rich. I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college. You only get 24 hours. And I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened? In my 24 hours. I was like, okay, Eric, you got to get a grip on your 24 hours because you're about to be broke for the rest of your life. And this is all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24-hour schedule for me and you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're going to be in five years. I can tell you where you're going to be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're going to be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. There are a few things you just can't learn from a textbook that you have to live through to see, to be fully entrenched in. Because here is a simple truth. This world is a tough place. Getting what you want, making the most of the time you have requires that you put yourself in a position to succeed. It means you see a finish line before one exists. Look, no one's ever going to call you and tell you how incredible your idea is. You can't build a business on potential or win a championship on promise. Results are binary. You either accomplished something or you simply did not. Right? That's it. That's what people see, the result. So that means every second, every step of the way from where you are right now until you cross the finish line depends on you and your thoughts. How you internalize failure, how you look at setbacks, when no one is around to pat you on the back or tell you how great you are, will you have enough self-belief to move forward? Because my friend, that's the hardest part. That's what no one talks about. Having the courage to wake up every single day of your life to know that you are building towards something incredible. You are creating a masterpiece from the ground up. And that means that when you're looking in the mirror, you believe in what's staring back at you. You see the unseen and you are willing to bring it to light. That is the foundation that you build greatness on. And it's a daily pursuit, creating milestones, designing the small wins that keep you going, that keep you moving, 
that get you past all those times you so desperately want to turn around, but know that for you, it simply isn't an option. That is not your reality. You have more waiting for you. And so you press on, cloaked in confidence, you move into the unknown, seeking the day the rest of the world looks up and calls you lucky. They'll look at what you built and say how fortunate you are, but they won't comprehend the 20 hour days, the focus, the ridicule for being different or obsessive or non-conformant. They won't know that self-belief trumped all of that that it was everything. The word great is separate for a reason. It implies a specific set of beliefs and values. It means you saw light when most people saw darkness. It means you said yes when most people said no. You move forward when the 